Hey everybody, it's Dr. K, and um, I'm just going to do a quick project uh, video blog on my uh, the progress of my Chaos uh, Elephant, or my Mumak. Um, I've been working pretty diligently on this guy, um, still got a little bit more work to do, um, but I think he is coming along uh, very, very nicely. So uh, I'll let you guys take a quick look. All right. So, let's start off with the head. This uh, aberration um, just basically, you know, just kind of came to me as I was working on it. Um, you know, you can see here, you can see here that uh, you know I did a lot of green stuff work. On, um, on the face. Um, this was so I could put a that chaos shield right here because um, I wanted it to look like that. I wanted it to look like the Marauders had fused the um, the shield to the mammoth's forehead as a little bit of um, you know head armor. Um, there's a little side profile. Um, got some feeder tendrils and some pinchers right there. Um, kind of help the uh, Mumak uh, devour his victims. And we have a little a chaos ring around his, his trunk. Um, didn't exactly do the best job in the world making a solid ring for that, but I don't know, it should still look good from tabletop standards, I hope. I might rework it, I might not, I'm not really sure. Um, at this point I'm kind of tired of doing the green stuff work on this guy but um and then for the ears as you can see I used I used uh, these are possessed um, um possessed cast marine um jetpacks um this is uh the one uh, the smaller wing set that came with it and uh I just thought it might look a little bit better than a um his big dopey other ears now for this fella, first off, I had this thing sitting up here, but I was gone for the weekend and the cats decided to play up here and knocked it down and, well, they, they did some other damage too, um, but that's, they'll save that for another entry. So um, for this guy, for this part of the body, um, you see a lot more green stuff work. Um, covering up a lot of the creases, the molding lines, etc. Um, well, I sanded down the molding lines, but like the um, the cracks in between the, the halves, that's what I meant. So I've got some... Um, these are from the Chaos, uh, the Demon Prince kit. Trimmed them off and made, glued them on, and I made it look like they were like roughly pierced through got skin you know a little bit of skin tagling off like that and right here um, the same deal with the with the head armor um, however uh, I just thought it would look cool to have a little brand right there and um, I couldn't I tried to carve one out of green stuff and I'm just not that good at it yet so I went this route and I think it was a it was a pretty good alternative um, you know added some chaos bling all over um, now yeah, I got their their lunch right there um, some hanging heads uh, these are all just this is just one giant kit bash from um, you know there's a lot there's a couple chaos things um, ogre kingdoms um, this chaos, these are the Minotaur, um, Minotaur shields, um, a little bit of the talus, a couple of talismans from the lizard men, you know, things from the Chaos Knights, just a bunch of different kits from a bunch of different things, so, and then, lastly, I got my, this guy, um, he's my, Slaver slash whipper slash standard bearer slash chief slash whatever. Um, I haven't actually really decided what I want him to be yet. 
Um, but uh, I put his... Uh, this is a shield from the Chaos Knights. And I had to green stuff a little bit right there. This was uh, the whip hand from the charioteer, the cast charioteer. And I know the hand looks a little bit big for the arm, but I mean, from tabletop, you really shouldn't notice too much. Um, and of course, the head's a chaos warrior head, and the rest is a marauder body. So. Up, what I'm still planning to do to them is I've got a couple more, um, a couple more uh, crew members or, or marauders or whatever I'm going to be putting putting in here. Um, I've got one that I want to. I've got a meat hook um, design I'm working on um, using some um, old scythes, some jewelry chain, and some um, florist wire. Um, that I want hanging off either one of these sides and, you know, I want it to come swinging down looking like it's going to impale somebody. Um, I want to put a drummer up here, up in, up in this part. I want to put, haven't quite decided who yet, but probably like the lookout. Um, I haven't quite figured out how I want to make the Marauder look like a lookout, but, you know, I'll, it'll come to me, I'm sure. And then just a couple more Marauders around there looking like they're, you know, ready to go. Um, so that's, uh, that's it for this bugger. Um, go ahead and um, if you want to keep, uh, keep up on the status of this guy, um, I just knocked something over. And if you want to keep up on the status of this guy, um, go ahead and subscribe. Um, I'll be filling you guys in more um, as it comes. And... Um, until next time, happy painting, everybody. Thanks for watching.